Welcome back to Stinging Nettle Farms. So in this video we're going to go ahead and start setting the trusses. If you remember last time we got them all dropped off on the side of the road and moved them up with the coyote. So now we went and rented a uh, big forklift and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get it enough reach to reach up onto the top of a 32 foot wide house. So we rented a forklift. There was a nice little hook right on the back. We hooked up to that and probably was a bad choice because we couldn't get the truss all the way up there. So Austin and I had to try to slide that big old thing up by hand. Whoa! That didn't go very well at all. So hey, go grab a ladder. Let's set it up on a ladder. And here we had to get our photographer to come and help us get a rope on it. So now we got John here to help us, so we're a three-man crew instead of a two. We're going to go ahead and get the second truss up there. Now if you'll notice, there, we got it hooked to the fork. Would have made more sense to have hooked it to the left side fork instead of the right side fork, but I guess this is definitely a figure it out as you go type ordeal. But this truss we were able to get a lot farther in there because of the tip of the fork instead and it worked a lot better. In hindsight, and I don't know why I didn't think of this, and I don't know why the rental guy didn't try to upsell me, we should have just got a jib. If we could have got a jib for the forks, added another 8-10 feet to the reach and everything would have been a piece of cake. But the back side of the dormer was definitely the hardest. So we had two regular trusses to stick in there and then a girder truss. I think the girder truss is next. There we are getting the girder truss. Girder truss is a uh, 2x6 top and bottom cord instead of a 2x4 and it's a 3 ply. So weighs just under 600 pounds. So there's no uh, getting this thing in by hand. Everything here has to be done with the machine, which worked out. We're still picking on the right side instead of the left side of the forks, which, you know, looking back, I don't know why we did that. But we had enough to, enough to reach it and get this big guy in there. And after, um, after this, of course, the dormer is 12 feet wide, so the next girder truss sits over a whole 12 feet, and it gets easier. Kind of cool the way the forklifts do a crab steering, but now we're getting the girder truss set in place and getting the second girder truss up there. I had blocks cut that went in between. You'll see me sticking them in later. So once we got the trusses, I just put the spreader blocks in and screwed them. <laughs> My wife wasn't too happy with that. It was an easy fix though. And we tried to use the hook again. As on this one and even though we've what, 4 feet, 12 feet 16 feet from the end that hook still wasn't quite enough so we had to put it on the fork even though we were over this far but we were able to set it right where we wanted it and that was pretty nice and now, just one truss at a time, kind of a rinse and repeat type deal. Started to get a little breezy on us. But since I only had the forklift for two days, now I'm getting up here and putting in one of those little spreader blocks. Cut 22 and a half inches. Um, you know, sometimes I've just put a board on the top. Here we could have maybe put a board on the bottom 
but the spreader block stays there forever keeps the truss exactly where it's supposed to be and that way when you're setting the new or the next truss you don't have to uh, deal with anything poke it out these trusses are 10 foot tall from the bottom up to the point which makes them pretty pretty wobbly there you can see um, kind of just how big it is with the man there it's my first time ever setting parallel cord trusses so I wasn't sure exactly how this was going to work out I don't know if you can notice but on the plate the mud seal I actually put a 22 and a half block on every other truss so that when we set the trusses in place we just screwed them right to these blocks and it was kind of amazing how much support just a 2x4 gave it it's December 8th we had a windstorm last night we have no power again but look, I'm up in my loft, and oh my gosh, look at the trusses that they have done. We have an amazingly beautiful tall ceiling. So we just kept going right along here. When we got to the end, way down there, might even be actually this one. We skipped a few trusses and started on the edge and worked back towards the middle. The reason we did that is because the way the garage kind of stuck out, you couldn't get the forklift square on and the other truss would be in the way. So we set the last three on the right here, working back towards in worked out pretty good now you can see we've started the garage here our uh, camera person had to go to an appointment so she got back for the very end the last truss I should say the last truss before the one that we were looking for the one we're looking for is laying right on the ground there I don't know if I pointed it out before, but very important to have a tagline on these trusses. Otherwise, you don't have any control. It's crazy as much reach as this forklift had that we actually had trouble setting the first three trusses. Here I am just putting the little block in between up there. Yeah, don't fall when I'm filming you. That would suck. Yes, it would. I wouldn't be able to sit. And there's the one we've been looking for. The last one. started out I was putting a board on the bottom cord so that I could walk out on it trying to get it set so it was perfect and after a while I just decided to just walk out on them anyway worked just fine it's a lot faster the trusses at the back of the garage we couldn't reach so we had to kind of sit them down and and muscle them back there Kind of glad that wasn't filmed. It wasn't very fun. It wasn't very safe. And they made fun of me because I tried to get them within an eighth or closer. But if I set every truss within an eighth or closer, then they're all within a half inch when I'm done. I can't explain that. That's just how it works. So.
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Didn't take us too long to set the trusses. Stinging Nettle Farms, signing out.